Hi friends, since we all are friends in the Navigator's Classroom, the book that I chose to read to you guys today is titled, Amelia Bedelia Makes a Friend by Herman Parrish and pictures by Lynn Avril. Let's get into it guys. Amelia Bedelia Makes a Friend. Amelia Bedelia was lucky. Her best friend lived next door. Hello, Jen, said Amelia Bedelia. Hi, Amelia Bedelia, said Jen. Amelia Bedelia and Jen had been friends since they were babies. They baked together, they dressed up together, they played together, played music together. Amelia Bedelia even showed Jen how to bowl. They play so well together, said Amelia Bedelia's mother. They sure do, said Jen's mother, even though they are as different as day and night. Then one day, Jen and her parents moved away. Amelia Bedelia and her parents were very sad. Amelia Bedelia missed Jen. She missed Jen every day. She wished Jen would come back. One morning, a moving van pulled up. Did Jen come back? asked Amelia Bedelia. I don't think so, said Amelia Bedelia's mother. We must have new neighbors. <clears throat> Amelia Bedelia's mother watched the movers. Oh, look, she said. I see a fancy footstool. Amelia Bedelia did not look. She wanted Jen back. Look, said Amelia Bedelia's mother. I see a coffee table. Amelia Bedelia still did not look. She just kept drawing. Amelia Bedelia's mother said, I see some big armchairs. I see a love seat. I see a twin bed. Finally, Amelia Bedelia looked at Jen's old house. Then she looked at her drawings. Our new neighbors sound strange, she said. The night, that night, Amelia Bedelia told her dad about the new neighbors. He loved her pictures. Amazing, her dad said. I hope they have a pool table. The next morning, Amelia Bedelia and her mother baked blueberry muffins. They took the muffins next door. A lady opened the door. Hello there, she said. My name is Mrs. Adams. You must be my new neighbor. No, said Amelia Bedelia. We already lived here. You are my new neighbor. You know, said Miss Adams, I think both of us are right. Do come in. Hmm, Mrs. Adams said. What smells so good? My mom does, said Amelia Bedelia. I don't wear perfume yet. Jen's house looked different. Every room was full of boxes. Welcome to my mess, said Mrs. Adams. I will live out of boxes for a while. That sounded fun to Amelia Bedelia. <clears throat> Are the twins in their bed? asked Amelia Bedelia. My goodness, said Mrs. Adams. You have sharp eyes, Amelia Bedelia. Hope that was good. Amelia Bedelia hoped that was good. My twin children will visit today, said Mrs. Adams. Their names are Mary and Marty. The twins visited that afternoon. Our grandma is a lot of fun, they told Amelia Bedelia. They were right. It was great to have a friend right next door again. Amelia Bedelia and Mrs. Adams baked together. They dressed up together. They played music together. They have so much fun together, said Amelia Bedelia's father. They sure do, said Amelia Bedelia's mother. Even though they are as different as day and night. One day, Jen came back to visit. Mrs. Adams took both girls to a real bowling alley. That is, this is the best day ever, said Amelia Bedelia. I have a best old friend and a best new friend. We are three best friends together. The end. Well, that's the end of the story, friends. I shall read you another tomorrow. I hope you all are well. Bye-bye.